guys, me and the old man here on a, a field trip. We're headed north today. Got a very, very, very exciting day ahead of us. It's cold and windy, we're heading north. You getting excited? Uh, been excited for a long time. It's finally seeming real. <laughs> we're, four, we're four miles away. Let's go, baby. Not let the Careful. not let the cat out. Yeah. What's up? One more mess. <laughs> I can't see anything other than this right here in front of me. Wow. Let's go. You guys did it up. This is incredible. Wow. Look at this color. It's not at all what I thought. When, the color? Yeah, what you had showed me your pics. I love it. It's great. I thought it was way lighter gray. Like. Yeah, the Cadillac gray is a lot lighter gray than yeah, that. This is, I like this because it chimes in with the carbon fiber really well. Don't tell me so much about the car. I got to mic you up first. Okay, I'm like you at first. This has been a long time coming and I'm this is incredible. I love this dash. Gosh. I wonder if that CompuTech dash is gonna be a tight fit in there maybe. It I don't know. If it's if it doesn't fit, I mean that's the only dash we have, but we can pump with something make it taller if we have to. Right, right, right. We were looking at all these, the old mulluses used to be a little narrower here. And what we did now is we made them up wider so like guys like me that have shoulders, so it's hard to get in and out of them. Wire rails along the car, both sides, end to end. Um, this cleans the wiring up a whole bunch, makes it a lot easier to wire your car. There's, uh, of course, you've got the front radiator on this car. That should buy him a lot of room in the back. Keeps the back real clean like that, too. Oh, Mullis the cat. Mullis the cat. The cat's name's Mullis, right? Yep, that's Mullis the cat. Yeah, he is a... Uh, He's a resident here. So we have our own carbon fiber guy. Um, he does our cars only, only our carbon fiber. And you can go around, I'm not saying our guy's better than everybody else, but he is. But it's not <laughs> a weave out of place anywhere on a, on a mollusk car. Um, the carbon fiber is a little bit thicker, stronger, durable, stays straight, doesn't warp in the sun, doesn't, uh, and, you know, you won't find a weave out of place and it's, the fit and finish on it's really, really well. I mean, some of these carbon bodies, like you say, they, this is standing on its own. So yeah, it's probably it's probably a little bit heavier. Not much, but it's a tickle heavier um, within a pound. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, it's rigid. It doesn't, you know, some of the ones you set them up on the sun, and you put them outside, and the wind will just tip them over and they'll lay on their side. These won't do that. We got these engineered enough that when you put these the two middle Zeus buttons in, the whole car lifts up like a funny car easy to work on everything. They say a one-piece body is difficult to work with and put on and off yourself. It's not, we put them on and off by ourselves all the time. You guys, all these tabs are in place for yep. the... Uh... We run uh, Bald Spot Sports, makes these pads for us. Um, it's a head pad, goes around, wraps around like that. They're SFI rated. And uh, all our cars come equipped with those now as standard. It's a safety thing for us. We don't want to build a car that's any part unsafe, so. I just think this is the cleanest, smoothest, most attractive looking way of you know doing your roll bar padding and you guys just include it standard and i don't have to worry about doing the measurements and tabs and mounting it's it's all done it's done nope. right yep safety was first on our and first and foremost was the safety we thought how can we make it better and safer and clean neat and not have it look congested in there and uh we did some research looked around at some other builder stuff and stole an idea here or two from a couple of them and put our own thing together and what we wanted to do and yeah, I think it turned out really slick. That's uh, Glenn. That was Glenn's idea. Was 
Glenn's biggest vision is we're going to build the safest car out there on top of the highest quality and to, to the best of our ability. So fuel tank, I mean, it's not shown here. You guys include. Yep, there's a light that goes in yeah, right there. An ascending unit, and it'll turn the light on. Yep. So as you tank. fill the tank up, once the tank's full, before it even fills into the neck, it'll turn that light on and let you know that the tank's full, so you don't have fill fuel spillage all over your seat or on the ground. And you're leaving that part for me. I got to get that installed. Yep. All right. Yeah, you get right. to finish that. I part. can handle that. Yep. I can handle that. So. You guys, there's just a lot for me to take in here. It's been, it's been some time waiting for this and boy, it's been worth the wait. I think I'll be really happy. Some of the cars now, if the customer specs have all built the get, build the get out handles right into the car. So there's not a clamp on issue, everything else. And they they have the same contour as the dash. So there's no, they're not a distraction, not in a way. They're user friendly and us older, bigger gentlemen like get out bars it makes it a little easier to get in and out i mean i know i'm getting older too but i mean i still feel like i'm a younger gentleman and i love to have the get out handles and not only that but like if you got your arm restraints or you want to tuck your gloves behind something it's just another it's another point that you can store things because uh, that can come become a problem in these cars when you got your tire gauge and you got your extra pair of glasses and then you got to carry your phone now because they have digital time slips or something <laughs> like that you know and it just gets too congested in these tiny cars, so to, to have another point like that is kind of why I, why I like it. But it's also nice for getting out of the car, don't get me wrong. It's got dual brakes on it. Um, the nicest feature, I think, about having dual brakes is when you're loading and unloading the car, and you're pulling it out, you can just reach in and run the brake lever. And mm -hmm. It doesn't get away from you. It's pretty handy. It's got the dual battery mount option. Um, obviously, we're going to be running our gold lithium batteries in this car, and I'm pretty sure that's going to fit in just one slot. Headlights are already mounted, ready to go. Of course, if you do any winning, a lot of times you end up doing some night racing, so it's nice to have those. Dad, what do you think about this hot rod? Pretty unbelievable. Very, very nice. The attention to detail is unbelievable. You know, I remember when we went and picked up your first car back in 06 or whatever, and I didn't know what to expect, and I thought that was really nice. And it doesn't compare to what you got now. <laughs> you guys, well, Glenn's Glenn's biggest thing is Glenn says if it's not high quality, it's not leaving out the door. So he keeps a pretty good eye on quality control around here. And if it's not Glenn's way, you know, it's it's going to be Glenn's way before it's done. And everything Glenn does is actually very very trick. So mullet seat pad inside that thing looks awesome. You guys, I've already been inside one of these cars before obviously you saw the video but i just like a car where you sit up straighter a little bit straighter in the car um i like to be up on the wheel a little bit more and some cars are designed where you're laying back a little bit more i'm not a fan of that so the mullis design just kind of really fits my preference as a racer and these guys knocked it out of the park i mean well i've looked at a lot of guys carbon fiber and there aren't any that have this nice carbon fiber. Obviously a carbon fiber nose cone, ready to come home. Beautiful. Can't wait to unwrap that body and see what that looks like. Man, we're That's gonna get there, product. we're gonna get there. We got you your motor plates. Um, here's the rest of the brake kit that Tom wants to put together. I always like when guys put their own brakes together because it's their ass in the seat, so. Um, some electronic features for our disconnects. Charging lugs, steering hub assembly. Um, Throttle pick cable, some brake lines. Um, we got them set up here with this drive shaft, even a Zeus tool for taking a body on and off. Of course, some promotional stickers. Gotta have those. Um, our disconnect switches again. Parachute mount, trans limiters, uh, some taillight stuff. Uh, just about everything he's gonna need. If, there's gonna be some more stuff, odds and ends here and there he's gonna need, but uh, our sales don't stop after the car gets delivered. Our, our customer service after the sale and taking care of the guy until his car's on the track and winning rounds and going to the winter circle. We got your back until, until that's happening all the time. Then when you start beating us, then it stops. <laughs> going to the winter circle, I might have to have the old man, might have to have the old man drive it if we want to go to the winter circle. But hey, show me those, uh, those where are those little LED lights that you put in the dash now? You were showing me those, where did those end up? Uh, right up here. Oh yeah, yeah man. So oh, instead this, of, I haven't seen these before. Yep, instead of the, the big bracket tab, now we run these LED lights in the dashboard, shining down on there. They're very bright. Um, we put two in, which is probably almost too much, but we put one on each side of the dash. And it's a cleaner, neater 
look, it uh, cleans the dash up a bunch and then makes it a lot cleaner and easier to wire as well. Mullis is made up of like three people, like you said, and I know all three of you guys probably laid a hand on this thing. And uh, I'm, I'm so happy. Obviously, this is a little bit different situation. I have to do, I'm doing a lot more of the assembly myself. Um, we're gonna be making a lot of content about this thing. And, uh, but now I gotta get it figured out on this body thing. We gotta get it in the trailer. Cause uh, you know, I'm, I'm chomping at the bit here. I'm so excited, man. Want to get it home and get it work done. Yep, yep. Yeah. You guys I want to see, see it. it. You guys, I'm so incredibly pumped about how this car turned out, and I'm so excited to bring you guys some content about it at last. This is episode one in our Ultimate Mullis Race Cars Bracket Dragster Build Series. So definitely subscribe if you're not already, as we're gonna be bringing in content about this car to you all winter long. And real quick before we wrap up this video, shout out to the online store where we have these really cool uh, button guides for different types of trans brake buttons. There's different styles um, and for all different buttons. We're gonna be doing a Black Friday sale on these. That's gonna be happening on Black Friday through the following week. Uh, so you have plenty of time to get on there and check them out. You guys, like I said, a bunch of different designs and we're gonna be discounting these for Black Friday. 25% off, go and check them out. There's a link down in the description. <laughs> Oh, I already have a rainbow colored car. I don't want another rainbow colored car, bud.